Hey guys, Gameboy3800 once again back in Forza Horizon 5, and we're going to be doing two things today. First of all, we're going to show you how dumb the Razor Tachyon has become. Yep, it's now an A-Class if you put in the 4-speed gearbox. It goes from X-Class to A-Class because it says its speed is 1.6. But if you just tune the gears so that it goes above 50 miles an hour, uh, you get an A-Class car that handles like this. And accelerates like this. It's actually dumb. I'm pretty sure it's already banned on leaderboards, so, you know, you won't have to worry about that. I'm not sure if the times that are already existing on it will stick. I doubt it, but you know, it's just incredibly stupid. I hope this isn't allowed in races, because this would just be insane. I could try it. But that's not the focus of today's video. Uh, today's video focus is going to be on the Oldsmobile Toronado. Why is that? Well, we are reviving the uh, muscle car... Hilltop Rally Series. The previous winner, the Holden Toronto with 500 foot-pounds of torque, below 3,000 pounds. It's quite uh, insane. I'm going to hop into this car. And I've already kind of messed around with some tunes to see where I like it. Uh, if you get, uh, if you put into LS, you just get insane power in B-Class, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to be sticking with the stock engine and keeping it front-wheel drive. So front-wheel drive on a full dirt circuit, I have no idea how that's going to go. Like, I got a, like a couple practice laps in uh, before the video started just to, you know, re-familiarize myself with the track, because let's be honest, I haven't played that track since I lasted that Holden video, which was recorded in like December so it's been a while for me I put in the gearbox because I can't stand the CVT gearbox that it's got I'm gonna check that in for now we are gonna go for a power build this time around because this car is just so good at handling power Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to want the roll cage. It adds quite a bit of weight. And it doesn't add that much uh, extra grip. We'll see how we go. If we need to remove that later, we will. One thing we're not going to do, though, is weight reduction. Because this car uh, likes to be planted with front-wheel drive. So we're going to want as much weight in as, as possible. I'll show you the engine swaps. It's got some pretty dumb options like the diesel, 7.2 V8, the monster truck engine, and... The Funko engine. And then of course you can, you know, rear wheel drive swap it or all wheel drive swap it. As you can with most front wheel drives, I think you can with all. But yeah, let's get into this motor. This motor gets the 8.2 liter displacement upgrade, just like the Buick. And that's pretty cool. Uh, we can go just for a full-on power build, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't think this car really cares, uh, or at least this tune doesn't really care how much power we're putting down. I could go for some sport cams and valves, and I think I will. I could just go for the full beans engine build as well. If I go down here and oh, already didn't put that in yet. If I go over here and put in some smaller tires. So one stage smaller tires. And then for the roll cage I can do a one stage less of that. 
save some weight, and we get to have all of our lovely, lovely horsepower. Now, I could probably try to go for like, oh, would you look at that? The sport transmission is a downgrade in PI. Nice. Or at least it saves a PI. I don't know how that works. I'm going to go for the rally diff. I don't know how the rally diff is going to perform as a front wheel drive. We have 4,600 pounds. I think this is going to be the heaviest car we've had go by so far. And gearing, we may leave it stock. Let's see how the rest of the tune is. Uh, I'm probably going to want stiffer anti-roll bars because of how heavy this vehicle is. So we're going to go for 35 and 36 stiffness all around. And then let's go 40 because it's so heavy. I'm going to bring the front stiffness down to 400 even. And the rear stiffness, I'll bring it up to 350. Just to make it a little bit more balanced. Likewise, for the damping, we're going to stiffen it up just a bit because it's so stiff. And we run full arrow for this series. I don't normally run front arrow, but this is a front wheel drive, so we will want that. We don't have brakes. And diff, I'll leave like that. Pretty close to stock. And that is our car ready to go. It is a full-on power build in B-Class. And then speed-wise, probably do want to... Despite it having so much torque and stuff, I do want to shorten them up because otherwise we just have no go. So 150 miles an hour there should be good for us to use all... Well, four of the five gears. I don't know if we're going to use fifth gear at all, but four of them at least should be pretty good. Maybe we'll use all five. But yeah, the cool thing with the Toronado is that just look at how darty it is. It's such a good car. Now, it is mega heavy. But we can just hold the power three turns and it just doesn't care. Look at it. Look at that. That's so good. That's why I think... Oh, my. What on earth is that truck? I want to look at that. That's why I think this could be a pay-to-win muscle car. Because, at least in B-Class front-wheel drive, it's so good. Oh, Thirst Smoothie. And I actually haven't seen that before. That's it. I would say that's interesting. But, eh. Fleet Feather Challenge, oh. Yeah, I haven't done anything this week yet. I just have been playing with the Razor and the Oldsmobile. Alright, let's go up to uh, the Caldera Scramble. And I may give myself six laps just to re-familiarize myself with the course because it's been that long. And I also had a problem where when I tried to change rival in like a previous recording attempt uh just gave me an infant loading screen here so i'm gonna hope that that is not going to be the case all right it eventually worked i have no idea what happened there we go holding toronto the time to beat is a 47.4 So, I don't know how we're going to do. I'm going to give myself maybe one extra lap because I legitimately haven't driven this track like f in the rivals mode for months. So, one extra lap just to remember how the track even goes. I did do one or two laps in free roam, but that isn't the same as rivals. So, let's see here. I think we are ready to go.
We're actually good at the line, very good. Look at that, that turn is just so good. I don't even have to think. And it just turns. Oh, that was a bit of an odd bounce there. Of course, we do need to bring its weight across all these turns. And they're not going to get the fastest lap because of all the rocks anyways. So we need to clear those rocks for a few laps. But, let's see how we do first flying lap. Definitely faster than the Holden. Look at us go. Now the Holden doesn't have that much power, but it is light. That's where it gets its speed. Bit of a poor turn from me there. We got some speed. This is probably the most power we've run through this series so far. I needed to be braking more, I think, there. We definitely pull on it up the hill. Despite being front-wheel drive, we're literally pulling ourselves up the hill. Dang. Yeah, the old is performing very well despite being 4,700 pounds, you know? Like, would you be able to tell from this footage that this car weighs double that car? It's not even that far behind. There we go. That's a line. Oh, we don't have much speed up the hill, though. Dang. Yeah, front wheel drive does have some understeer if you really push it like I did there. But I have gotten to know the course a little bit better again. So, let's see how we do. Just hold it in third gear. That worked out pretty well. Oh, it's very close. One last lap. I'm um, too wide, I think. I can probably get a good exit. Bit of an odd bounce sometimes. I don't know how that's doing that. It's not a great turn there. Oh, we are ahead. Look at that. The old is going to get it by two tenths. Wow. That is quite the machine.
We didn't even have a good first turn. But this car's composure... What? This car's composure is just unreal. Like, how is it that composed being 4,700 pounds? It almost weighs double the Holden, literally. Like, the Holden is 2,800. This is 4,700. That's not too far off being double the weight. We got more than double the power, though. So I think power to weight, this thing actually has, you know, the better amount. Because I had, what, 300-something horsepower? We have 800-something. Give it up for the Oldsmobile, and give it up for the return of this series. There's more muscle cars to do. So, I'll see you all in the future.